box. So it arrived today and I ordered it actually back on January 10th. So I am pretty excited that it's here. I've been waiting for a while. This is what the inside of the box looks like. Um, you do get to preview the items and you are able to select three that you do not want to get and then your stylist will fill in with some other items. So it looks like it has a little packet here of information. Uh, you do have five days to decide what to purchase and then there is also a little prepaid return label that just goes on the box and it ships by UPS. There is quite a long note here from Julie, my stylist, so I will read that later. Um, excited to see what's in here. So the first item looks like a navy blue sweater, I think. So yes, it's a cardigan that has a hood. Um, it is by Corey, and it's pretty soft, um, no pockets on it. So. The next item is a black jacket by Olivia Gray. It is long sleeves, and it kind of it's shorter in the back and then it comes down to a point in the front and it does have shoulder pads which is kind of odd so we'll see how that looks there's a little white sleeveless ribbed top with ruffles on the sleeves and around the neckline it's by current air los angeles so it's pretty, it's stretchy, kind of like a sweater. Next, this is by Olivia Gray as well. It is a black sleeveless floral top. It has a little button closure in the back. This is by Olivia Gray as well. It's a green and white striped long sleeve shirt with pockets in the front. This is Olivia Gray. It's a black sleeveless kind of a wrap top. It's super soft. That actually is more my style, so I'm excited to try that one on. And we have by French Connection, a black ribbed sleeveless dress. It's kind of long too, pretty long. And there's a lot more items in this box than any other box that I've received. So that's kind of exciting that you have a lot of options. This is by Gilly, and it is a teal jumpsuit. <laughs> uh, it does look like it has a wide leg, so I do like the wide legs better. Um, we'll see how that looks on. I'm just not really a big fan of jumpsuits, but they seem to be super popular right now. Next up we have by Liverpool, a pair of shorts with a little tie around the waist. And they have little pockets in the back. That's nice that she sent me shorts because yesterday it was 80 degrees here. Um, these are a pair of skinny jeans by AG called the Farrah Skinny Ankle. They are kind of faded a little bit. Um, they don't have any distressing or holes on them. 
but they do have the raw hem, which I'm not super a fan of, but they feel really nice. They feel like really nice, uh, soft jean material. And the last item in here, it's maybe jewelry. It's by Chanel, it looks like. I wonder if it really is Chanel, if that's just what it says on the box. So this is actually a little sample, it looks like, of Chanel eye cream. So I wonder if it's just like a free gift or something. We'll see. We'll check into that. There's also a little return bag in here to send back. I thought the returns went in the box, but I guess they go in this bag. All right, now to try everything on. So this is the first outfit that Julie suggested. It is the Kara Tuxedo Blazer in black, and this blazer is $125. Um, I don't know if you can tell, but the sleeves are too long, and it is 100% polyester, and the tag says to hand wash only. So because of those two things and the sleeves being way too long, I am not keeping the blazer. Um, it also fits a little bit. I'm not sure if I like the high-low, um, but that's kind of a minor detail. Mainly, I don't like it because of the sleeves and also the shoulder pads. I feel like that was the 80s and really shouldn't be in today's styles. But anyways, um, the white uh, top I have underneath is the Current Air Ruffled Hem Mock Neck Tank and it is $65. This tank is okay, but it is very thick material, and I feel like I would probably sweat in this. The armholes are also pretty big, um, and if I don't have it tucked in, it is super long. It comes all the way down to here. Um, so I don't really think I'll be keeping this top just because of mainly the material. It's super thick. Um, the jeans are the AG Fair Skinny Jeans in blue, and these jeans are the most expensive jeans I have ever tried on. They are $225, so it doesn't matter if they fit like a glove, I am definitely not keeping them. Uh, I don't think any jeans are ever worth $225 in my opinion. So. Uh, now on to go try on the next outfit. So I have on the next outfit that she suggested. It is the Leia Lightweight Hooded Cardigan in navy. This cardigan is $95. So clearly Daily Look is much more expensive than the other styling boxes that I've tried. And so far I am not impressed at all because everything is super baggy and long in the sleeves. Um, and I don't really like the hood. Um, this is not stylish to me at all. Um, let me know if you guys think otherwise, but for me the cardigan is a definite no. Then I have on the green striped button-down shirt, and this shirt called the Shayla Striped Button-Up Shirt with Contrast Pockets, and it is $72, which I think is close to the cheapest item on the list here. Um, the sleeves have the little button tab here on the side, but they don't actually keep the sleeve up because it is, yeah. So there's that. So it's okay, but I feel like it also reminds me of the 80s and it just doesn't fit extremely well. It's kind of wide. Um, I'm just not impressed with this shirt either, and I don't think I will be keeping the shirt. 
So this next outfit is much better looking in my opinion. I have on the wind sleeveless black keyhole top in black multi. It is $65. It has the little button closure in the back and it is a double layer of very thin fabric and I have it just kind of front tucked into the shorts and you can see um, it just kind of isn't too long in the back or anything. Um, and then the shorts are the Liverpool Kinley short in dark green and they are $79. A bit expensive for shorts in my opinion, but these fit super well. They are slightly stretchy and they have a linen look to them, which I have never seen linen that is also stretchy. So that is really um, unique for these shorts. They have a little tie front here and then they have this little seam that goes down the side, you can see, and then they just have little um, pockets in the back. So if I kept anything, I'm kind of tempted to keep the shorts just because they are so comfortable and I think they fit really well. So this is the other top that I paired with the shorts. It is the Angelica Starcross front sleeveless top and it is $68. It is super soft, it has the wrap front here. Um, the arm holes are really the perfect size, they're not too big, not too small, and this actually fits really nicely. Um, it is stretchy, soft material, and I'm just not sure that I really wanna pay $68 for it, but it does um, fit very nicely. This dress is by French Connection. It's the sleeveless rib bodycon dress in black. It is $108. I really like the fit of this dress. Um, I like the material, although it is a little bit thin, and I really like the tank style for Florida because it gets so warm here. The skirt length is like a midi length. It goes below the knee, but it's above the ankle. And on the one side, it does have a pretty large slit in the skirt, which I feel like would be good for date night, but I probably couldn't wear this um, anywhere else. So let me know what you guys think about the dress. So this is the last item in the box. It is the L sleeveless jumpsuit in emerald. It is $88. It does have pockets here in the front and it just kind of crosses over here and then has the little seams here around the waist. Um, it fits okay, it's just um, this, the pant legs are way too long. I have about three inch heels on right now, and even with that, the pant legs are still touching the floor. So I will not be keeping this just because of the length of the pants, and also because I quite simply don't want any long top suits. <laughs> um, let me know what you guys thought about the Daily Look box and what you thought of the pricing. Please hit like and subscribe and I will be back next time for another unboxing video.